to the uh, sequence numbers and that acknowledgement number and whatever we are learning as a part of TCP here. So we are not looking into this SSL portion yet, but try to understand now packet number six. It is from the server towards the client, right? Let's see, sequence uh, from server 443 destination port, this one we all know. Now it is sequence number is one and the TCP length is for 100 and 1460. This is the first data packet from the server towards the client and that is why that is why its sequence number is one and now it is sending the data which is of length what is the length for one four six zero right the first byte of this is going to be sequenced with one because it is from the server to the client and the last byte is going to be one four six zero the server is saying okay i have the client is going to say okay i have received till one four six zero right i am expecting one four six one to you but the problem is server is not stopping here server is sending server is saying i am going to send one more data to you one more data packet to you here right and it is saying that previously uh, because uh, now my sequence number is 1461 because previously I have sent till 1460 although I haven't received an acknowledgement and we can do that I am sending some more data to you there is not a one-to-one -one relationship between acknowledgement and your data sent right it can happen that you are sending two packets and we are receiving one acknowledgement and believe me we are going to understand these acknowledgement rules later in this transmission control protocol so do not worry about it at all now the sequence number for the second consecutive uh, segment from the server is going to be 1461 and how much is the tcp length segment it is going to be 348 right so how you are going to calculate the next acknowledgement which you receive from the client 1461 if i type the packet the first byte of this is going to be marked with 1461 and the packet length is 348 you know that the last byte is going to be marked with 1808 right you just mark it you will reach it to this number and 1809 is the number which is going to be expected more uh, from the client and that is why if you go into the packet number eight which is the acknowledgement from the client here you go it is saying the acknowledgement number is 1809 very very simple guys very very simple okay so now what i'll do is we will go for uh, uh, or what we will do is we will go for uh, uh, a break here but in the break time uh, means you can bring up your coffee i am going to stop for 10 minutes now for your questions also right so unmute yourself and ask your questions bharat and burak are already raised uh, your hands uh, uh, but if if other guys want to take uh, take their coffee just just bring their coffee uh, sit it here and we will be uh, going next so i am taking the break now after one hour please do ask your question you are uh, just unmute yourself and and ask the question i think if you are not able to unmute yourself i am unmuting uh, just try to click and unmute yourself i think you can you all can unmute Yeah, Mo. Uh, is there any question? Oh, hi. Hey, Mo. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, just a quick question. Um, can we have multiple um, acknowledgements at the same time? Like, if we receive multiple. Uh, indeed, uh, indeed. And I, uh, there are some specific use cases for that. That sometimes the receiver is going to send only the acknowledgement to advertise the window size, and we are going to read it. But yes, your. Uh, your observation is correct we can have that guys other guys could you please be on mute because it is going to create okay i'm muting you all just unmute yourself and ask question okay yeah anubhav devi datta burak you can unmute yourself and ask questions oh, sir devi yeah yes devi please go ahead so like i just want to know 
what will be the size of a segment like who decide what is the size of a we will come in by... see they be uh, we will come into that no worries that is the uh, concept which we are going to cover in maximum segment size so if you can see that sometime it is it was 1460 right so uh, we need to take space for ip header tcp header and the maximum is 1500 which can go out but we will be discussing it uh, it is slightly off the tra- uh, uh, of the track for the conversation whatever we are having right now but believe me without knowing this how you are going to calculate the segment size this course is not going to be over okay so like what always the each segment is same like whatever the no series, no like no i am again saying okay. i'll let you know if you have okay. any other question answer, yeah. yes answer another question there so like while server is responding to the client why the sequence number is starting from 1 and not 0 because acha uh, if i if i ask you the other side of the question are you convinced with me that uh, uh, that the client is a uh, why client is starting from the one okay just try to understand yeah, just try to understand the first fin sin packet was go, gone right where sin is equal to 1 right sequence number of this packet was 0 right server was saying i acknowledge your sin but it is saying that i acknowledge with 1 so that it is saying that sequence number 0 although there was no data but there is no way these guys could have implemented right so there is a concept of ghost bit through which this acknowledgement server, server is saying that um. i have received the sin packet and uh, similarly similarly the this guy is saying right because this was sin also so this guy was saying acknowledgement one right i have received your sin now whatever you want to send me you want to send me with sequence number one right Uh, if it is a acknowledgement packet then length is going to be zero but you are going to again send me with the sequence number 1 because you are not sending any data so for first packet sin packet right there is a concept of ghost byte which we say that although you do not have any data but i am acknowledging it with one see there must be something through this client should know that okay it got my sin right similarly client is saying to server i am acknowledging your sin with this one right so whenever you send whenever you start sending your data you should send me with sequence number 1 doesn't matter whether it's acknowledgement or, or something else so you get the same like here also there's a ghost bit for this for indeed this server side indeed okay. indeed because see the process is same the first is sin the reverse direction the process is sin right same yeah the same thing yes, anybody what? else thank you so much devi uh, anybody else uh, yeah anubhav please ask yeah vishnu bharat there oh bharat yes sir uh, you said that uh, uh, like uh, this, the chunking the chunking of the data is going to be done by the tcp layer yeah. uh, transport layer so is it aware about the mss like yes uh, it is TCP again TCP. again we are going slightly off the track i will be letting you exactly how it is going to calculate the segment right okay. it knows okay. it talks to your uh, uh, lower level of protocols for that believe me okay okay and another question is that whenever the tcp session is established there is a buffer size is uh, dedicated for that uh, indeed we are TCP we are software. we are going to learn that next one hour is totally into that okay okay and and uh, yeah if you are going to just take this question just you can just drop it uh, you said that there are multiple buffers uh, the one is from application to tcp transport and another one is the uh, sender buffer sender tcp buffer and the receiver tcp buffer so while troubleshooting like do we have any way to identify that which buffer is getting filled uh, actually which, which actually while troubleshooting tcp you do not need to worry about the buffer which is working between transport layer and application layer you are always going to be worry about the buffer uh, which is responsible for handling flow control between your client and the server do not worry about it okay we are not going to talk uh, anything because that is implemented in tcp some way uh, there is no way we can we can uh, uh, we can work towards it okay we are not going to talk that buffer 
we are just going to talk about the flow control between the client tcp and the server tcp not with respect to tcp of the client and the uh, application of the client okay okay uh, you also mentioned that uh, there are few things like flow control error control so flow does it mean a flow controller means is receiver is slow is it true or like is it just a slow or fast uh, or means yes there is a mismatch of the speed uh, or basically there is a mismatch that client cannot process whatever the server is sending or the vice versa right sometime your client is just a little machine your handle device which is not programmed to get a lot of data from the server so it can say uh, server please please stop and that is what basically your flow control is okay and and mm -hmm. and uh, on on the error control part so you, when you said that error control means error in a network does it mean that there is a packet some of the packet is dropped or lost in a network indeed you are right yes okay okay fine perfect and uh -huh. uh, is, is tcp is also aware about it and uh, the, it is also uh, Bharat, uh, i am going to take all process? the questions at the end but if there uh, do not worry means we are going to take all the question in the end also let me ask other okay. other people also and then uh, basically i will be here after the session also i will be here okay so okay. burak they uh, anubhav goswami uh, mr yeah. ankit unmute yourself and ask yeah yeah yeah, yeah burak go ahead okay thank you uh, could you tell us what's the uh, difference between segmentation and fragmentation yeah so fragmentation actually happen at the ip layer segmentation is whatever you are getting from the uh, transport layer from sorry uh, whatever you are getting from the application layer right you are getting from the application you are just that is the stream of data which is which you are just dividing into several segments but the IP, the fragmentation part happens when you send this tcp data to the ip layer and ip fragments that okay uh, there is a field in fragmentation offset so we can discuss about it uh, which is going to be pretty useful for the uh, reassembly at the receiver side for the case of ip right so ip does fragmentation tcp does segmentation but do not worry let's it, let's try to it, let's try to make uh, let's try to put our concentration here on the segmentation we will see fragmentation also somewhere in this uh, course okay and that that could be uh, possible at the same time that could be possible at the same time that whatever you are sending the data right uh, to the ip it is going to fragment it depending on the fact that what exactly the uh, mtu uh, or the uh, mtu is configured on its interface so this is going to be a pretty interesting discussion uh, where we are going to discuss the relationship between mss and mtu and then ip fragmentation also okay don't worry okay okay another question is uh... We have talked about buffering, and uh, maybe we will talk about uh, some QoS quality of service. Quality of service, yes, we can talk, but that is going to be totally, uh, totally off the topic of the TCP, right? Of course, of course. Yeah. But, uh, but is there any relationship between no, no, uh, buffering no. and QoS? Not at all. QoS and TCP doesn't have a relationship. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Yeah. Burak, we will take the yeah. remaining question at the end. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Anybody uh, else? Yes, sir. I have a question. Can you hear me? Yeah, Nubha. Uh, your voice is pretty slow. Could you please speak? Uh, is it is it okay now? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Can you go to the uh, connection termination uh, uh, page? Yes, sir. Here you go. So. Here, yeah, like as you told, uh, uh, for the connection uh, formation phase, that sin byte as a go goes bit, mm -hmm. like we treat it like it will take one sequence number, yeah. and acknowledgement will not take any sequence number. Yeah. So when we have sin x, so the uh, that particular sequence number is related to the sin from the server side. I mean the other host. Yeah. So we will take sin x as a uh, one sequence number. So is it the case with the uh, with this also Finac? No, no. Actually, I course? have I have seen only with that that happening in the sin case. I haven't seen with the Finac. Okay. It is it. Okay. It totally, so my question. Haha, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So here, uh, like I am, uh, like I could not get this particular thing here. Mm -hmm. That's the 
sequence number is 1301 and then we have given the fin as one a one sequence number over here mm -hmm. so while giving back so why no no, uh, no. where this, uh, this is the flag is this is the flag fin equal to one is not i am just removing it this is okay. just the flag this is not the number okay 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 oh. uh, but uh, like while going back it won't increase the uh, sequence number no I, that's what like i'm saying that won't be See, that's what I'm saying. Sequence 1301 was there, right? And again, okay. whenever the server is sending the acknowledgement, it is again saying uh, acknowledgement 13. That was the thing whenever you are starting the communication, you do not know any numbers, any anything. And that is why to initiate the conversation, basically the ghost white concept was there that the sin zero, uh, sorry, sequence zero you were sending. There was no way this client, the server is uh, uh, replying right that okay i have received that that is why the egg one is there although there was length is equal to zero right but that is only happening in the case of the connection establishment here we all know what numbers are going on between both the sites and that is why we do not need the ghost byte here okay but i again i again want you to uh, put some of your thinking here in this diagram just see the wire shark and believe me, you are, you are going to get it. But yes, it is going to take at least five minutes of your time. If you put your brain into it, you will get it. Otherwise, we will again okay. consider in the next class. Yes, go ahead, guys. Anybody else? So, yeah. Hi, Vishnu. Uh, can you just show me the Wireshark captures? Okay, sure. Here you go. No, no, not this one. No, 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 no. Packet you are showing us. I think it's uh, packet number eight. The two packets consecutively sent by server. Uh, two packets consecutively sent by server are this one. Okay, let me open this. Uh, this yes. one, six so one and you... seven one. Yeah. This one, if I again, this one and this. Knowledge one. number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah both, both six and seven. Yeah. yeah. You. So six one. Right now I'm on the six one. This is the six one. Yeah. Yeah. You want seven one also? Yeah, both. Yeah, both. Yeah, this so is the seven. Just trying to understand. Yeah. I'll give you the Wireshark file. Do not worry. Understand. I'll give you the Wireshark file. Even you can you can download it. No problems. And and just wanted to know that the, the sequence number would also be counted as a byte. Yes. Which, which was which has to be transferred. Absolutely. That is what. For example, if you say if I open the byte number this one, suppose right. This is the first byte, uh, first first uh, data, which is uh, which is from the uh, server to the client. So it is server saying side. it is saying the sequence number for this is one, right? And the length it is 1460. So if you compartmentalize this in 1460, the first number is going to be one. The last number, the last sequence number is going to be 1460, right? And then basically client will say, okay, I'm expecting 1461 from you. But now the server is pretty intelligent. It is sending two information, two two data. It is saying uh, uh, two uh, two packets, right? This one and this one, both are of one four six. And the yeah. in the in the next in the next packet seventh one, the sequence number one would be fourteen sixty one. You are right, and that is why you can see it right here. The packet number seven one four six one. You can see right here exactly. Here, this one. Okay. But you can brainstorm it at the fair at your free time. No worries, right? And if you have any questions, doubt, let's ask in, in, in the next session. So anybody else? Sure. I think we are good. We are good till uh, till now. We will be spending some time. I'll give you five more minutes, guys, to just have your coffee and then we are going to start our concept of flow control uh, in detail, right? So till that, till then I am just pausing the recording. I am just pausing the recording and we'll meet soon. Okay, just after five minutes. 10.30 is the time now. Uh, I am going to start at 10.35. Okay. Bye till then. So, hi everybody once again. Uh, let's talk regarding our next topic, which is 